Where is the sun? Where is the sun? Where is the sun? A couple of weeks ago, a Twitter account by the name of The Sun Vanished made its first tweet calling out for help, claiming that the sun had disappeared. The channel continued to tweet out what he was experiencing, including a video of a news report talking about the disappearance of the sun. Behold on the nation in response to the sudden disappearance of the sun, with violent riots taking place in just about every major city. A YouTuber by the name of Fantastic Daily brought this account to his viewers' attention, and since then, the account has blown up in popularity. It's been less than a month, and over 80,000 people are now following this story by the time of me writing this script. Tweets are released every few days, documenting his surroundings, and continues to ask his followers what he should do next. It's a pretty interesting story, and today we're going to investigate the strange case of the sun vanishing. Firstly, I just want to say yes, it's fake. I know to some of you that sounds obvious, but content like this is still very new to people, especially in the mainstream. And at the moment, this Twitter page seems to be borderline mainstream, as many people who are involved seem very unfamiliar with what this is. Ever since the Twitter account went viral, there have been many other accounts appearing claiming that they're part of the story too, but only one of those accounts have been followed by The Sun Vanished. Meaning this is most likely the only other account apart from The Sun Vanished that's official to the story. The rest are most likely what people call game jackers, who purposely try to take someone else's story and try to expand upon a lore that they have no knowledge in, which then leads to a lot of misinformation and confusion when you're trying to put the real story together. So to me, there is no other way of proving these accounts are real. So please do not try to pass these accounts off as part of the story until proven otherwise. So with that out of the way, what do we have so far? Well, our main protagonist has woken up one day to find out the sun hasn't come up. News reports were claiming that the sun had vanished, hinting that it was most likely a global event. We can also confirm that it's a global event by a tweet from the secondary account, which I'll talk about a little later. But it means this story is taking place in an alternate reality to ours if it's a global event. TSV hears noises outside and decides to investigate due to his fans saying he should, only to find strange lights in the distance that begin to move closer towards him. Still shaken from the short time I was outside. I don't know what that flashing light was, but it was following me. I looked for stars or planets as you all suggested. The sky was absolutely pitch black. Could be because of clouds or something else. This tweet alone suggests that the sun hasn't actually vanished, but rather something is blocking it. The reason I say this is because if the sun vanished and all street lights on Earth went out like we're seeing in his videos, you should be able to see thousands of stars without question. If you've ever looked up into the sky on a night out and struggled to see any stars, the reason for that is most likely down to light pollution, which is caused by street lights around you. However, if we were to turn all lights off, there would be no light pollution blocking your vision, meaning you would be able to see thousands of stars. The Simpsons also did an episode covering light pollution and actually showed something similar to this, so yeah. If this Twitter account is in a world where there is no sun and all streetlights are out, but claims to see nothing when he looks up into the sky, indicates that something is covering planet Earth and is blocking their vision of the sun and other stars. Either that, or somehow every single star in existence disappeared in one night. I personally believe it's something blocking the sun, as what seems to be happening in this world is an alien invasion with those strange creatures that we see exploring the forest in an earlier video. Another point people have brought up is that if the sun had truly vanished after a day, the planet would have probably frozen over by now. But here's the thing, a few days into the story, we get this tweet. Something just flew over my house. I couldn't see it too dark outside, but a wave of heat just came over me. Feels like the temperature increased by like 10 or 15 degrees. 
and the same thing happens again a couple of days later. So not only is something blocking the sun from reaching Earth, but there's also unidentified objects traveling around and heating up the planet to stop it from freezing over. So whatever is going on, it doesn't seem to be an accident. It's very much planned. We then receive a photo taken by the sun vanished account with a man appearing to be standing in the garden with his back against the window. TSV manages to get in contact with one of his friends called Danyan, and he tells us to stay away from the windows and under no circumstances must you let the man inside. The person on the porch doesn't seem to be in his right mind as he's been standing there for several hours now, along with the fact that TSV has been hearing screams from outside his house. So what happened to this man? Well, after asking for help and leaving his direct messages open, TSV received a strange message from a guy in British Columbia explaining that you should never look into the red light or else you become like the man in the garden. The red light he's referring to is the creature we saw in the forest earlier on in the story. From my understanding, the creatures seem to be mechanical as they have some sort of light attached to them as they travel. We even later find a message claiming that these creatures see motion. When they find a human, they go from a white flashing light to a red one, which we can see in the video after one of the creatures was exploring the outside of TSV's home. We later receive another message from the man in Colombia with a picture of someone inside his own home. Many have enhanced this image and believe to see some kind of hole in the middle of the creature's face, believing this to be the lens of a camera, hinting this could be one of the creatures we saw in the forest earlier and is now invading people's homes, which would explain the shutting sound we hear after every flash. But to me, I don't believe that to be the case. This doesn't really look like a camera lens or a third eye. I think this is just something that people aren't wanting to see. Also, TSV has tweeted out that he's been increasingly paranoid that something has been sneaking into his home and it's not the strange lights. It's something different. He's also hearing things in the night and has begun setting up traps to try and catch something. He's been hearing screams every so often, but every time he tries to record them, the microphone on his phone doesn't seem to pick them up. Shortly after that tweet, we're greeted with this picture from the man in Colombia. Something like this is probably what's sneaking into TSV's home. And since this is the person who sent the previous message directly talking about the man in the garden going going crazy, it's most likely suggesting that the two messages are connected, meaning that this shadow creature is one of the humans that looked into the red lights, rather than it being one of the red lights themselves. These humans who looked into the red lights are now completely insane, but seem to be sneaking into people's homes and doing something. We don't exactly know what, but the best answer I can give at this time is that they're sneaking into houses and tampering with the water supply. TSV continued to hear the screams outside, but still couldn't pick them up on his phone. He wanted to prove that he wasn't hallucinating, so he went outside to explore his neighbor's house, as he believes that's where the screaming was coming from. Upon exploring, he finds food and many supplies to keep him alive for a little longer. He eventually comes to the conclusion that he'll be living in his abandoned neighbor's house from now on. On. But not long after, while he was taking a drink, he found out the water from his own home was much darker than the water in his neighbor's house. Ever since he's moved out from his home, he's felt much safer and has had a much clearer mind. Someone could have been contaminating his water supply, causing him to hallucinate and take him out of his right frame of mind. If these humans are purposely tampering the water supply, making you hallucinate and hear voices, Maybe these people aren't as insane as we think. TSV hasn't heard from the man in Colombia ever since he took that picture. But that's not all. Remember the second Twitter account that I mentioned earlier that's actually part of the story and has been followed by TSV? Well, this Twitter account is from a man named Tucker, who's also in the world where the sun has disappeared. He's been sharing his experiences with TSV, including what he saw when the sun first vanished. He talks about one of his friends that he lost who went insane, just like the man in the garden. He had no other choice but to kill his friend as he was attacked, but the most interesting part about this character are his latest tweets on the 21st of May. I don't know what's happening exactly, but something's changed. There is a lot more activity outside than I have ever seen before. It's been getting worse. I don't have any windows for obvious reasons, but I can hear it all. I can see a blue light under the crack of my door. 
As the time of writing this, we've never heard from this account since. The blue light later appears in the story when TSV claims he's hiding in the bathroom and he can hear strange noises outside. A day or so later, the blue light left, but not before he took a photo of the ship. After the ship left, TSV investigated the area and found a dead body laying outside on the road. So overall, we have two main lights. A red light, which seems to turn you into some kind of zombie sneaking into people's homes to potentially contaminate the water supply, and another, which is a blue light that seems to kill you, which is what TSV has just seen recently. So what's going on? I think aliens have invaded Earth and blocked out the sun, making it harder for any life on planet Earth to fight back. I don't think the intention is to kill all humans, because if that's what they wanted, they could have just blocked out the sun and let Earth freeze. But instead, they're keeping the planet warm. They seem to hunt down humans and either kill them with a blue light or turn them into mindless zombies with the red light. The only problem is these aliens can only detect motion, or at least the machines they've sent out to capture humans. So they need humans to be running around in order to find them. So the humans they've already captured are ordered to invade all homes they find and tamper the water supply. That way, if any human stumbles upon the house and drinks the water, they begin to hallucinate, hearing the screams that aren't actually there, causing them to leave their hideout and into the streets. If all houses have tampered water, then the human will never stay in one place, causing them to keep moving while also not being in the right frame of mind, making making it far more easier for the aliens to find them and either make them a slave or kill them. If one of these mindless zombies finds the human in a house they invade, they're probably instructed to either capture them or kill them. Which is why we haven't heard from the man in Colombia after he took the picture of the shadow creature. TSV was very lucky in this case because he never actually encountered the creature that was sneaking into his home. However, because his water supply had been tampered with, it caused him to hallucinate and leave his home. Fortunately, he stumbled upon a house where the water hadn't been tampered with yet, so he managed to recover just in time before the aliens arrived. Had he stayed in his old home and continued to drink the contaminated water, these aliens would have arrived, made the strange noises, causing him to be frightened, and with him not being in the right frame of mind, it could have caused him to try and run instead of hiding, making it easier for the aliens to detect the motion and either kill him or turn him into one of those things. That's at least the method I think these aliens are trying to do. What the reason behind this is, is unknown at this point in time, but I believe in later parts of the story we might actually find out. That's assuming it's true. One final problem that people have been talking about is the friend Danyan. We don't know much about Danyan other than the fact that he lives quite a distance away, but he's been slowly making his way to meet up with TSV so they can both work together to survive. However, people who have been following the account don't trust Danyan. They've constantly been telling the Sun Vanished not to trust him. I know you all don't trust Danyan. I've been reading your tweets and messages, but I just can't bring myself to confront him. He's my friend. I don't have an abundance of those right now. When he finally confronts Danyan by asking him a question only Danyan would know, he dodges it. Okay, he actually doesn't, he just says lol what, and people seem to think that's compelling evidence that Danyan is a bad guy now. None of the previous text messages that are from Danyan hint in any way that he is the bad guy. His attitude, his writing styles, nothing really changes. In fact, he was the one warning the sun vanished to stay away from the window when the strange man was there. And there has been no change in attitude since. Even after TSV confronts Danyan about it and they fall out, he still messages TSV to hide when the aliens are just about to arrive. On Tucker's Twitter account, when asked about Danyan, we get this. That guy's been pretty suspicious, but I don't know. Honestly, TSV is acting worse than Danyan is. I'm pretty worried. And Tucker is right. This tweet was made during the time TSV was drinking the contaminated water and was beginning to hallucinate. So understandable why Tucker was pretty suspicious of TSV at that time. But either way, I'm pretty sure Danyan is someone to trust and would make a pretty interesting story to see two people experience this world rather than just one. And that's my idea so far. It's probably way off, but I highly encourage you to check out the Twitter account yourself and make your own theories on what you think is going on. The story is still ongoing and I'm certainly sure there's plenty more twists and turns ahead. 
Thank you so much guys for watching. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. It's got to be... I don't really upload that much, so it's just to let you guys know what I finally do because YouTube doesn't always notify you. They... Yeah, it's, it's not the best, but also I have a Patreon. Feel free to check out the Patreon names below. Some of them have their own websites or YouTube channels that you can check out. They're all cool people. On my Patreon, I tend to upload, uh, well, uh, not upload, uh, I do a couple of things where I check out uh, different ARGs and certain websites that are quite interesting for, that I think you guys would be uh, into. They're not really uh, good enough for like video material, as in I, I, th there wouldn't be much to talk about, but they're certainly interesting enough to check out yourself, and that's why I ended up posting them there on the Patreon stuff, so you can check out that stuff. I also do obviously video commentaries and, and watch stuff with a couple of my friends. Uh, and, and all that kind of, and all that jazz, uh, yeah. So that, that's just my Patreon stuff, don't forget to check out the Patreons below, they're all awesome people. And yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Thank you guys uh, for watching this video, I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe, and don't pull a pickup.